Today's show is all about the incredible potato, the most versatile vegetable on the planet. Um, we'll be right back. I'm going to make a, a potato and, um, and sauteed um, cabbage gratin, and it's going to be simple. Hi folks, how you doing today? We're going to make a, a quick uh, dish here um, involving potatoes, cabbage, some bacon, and a couple of spices. We've got um, garlic and fresh thyme from the, uh, the garden. And we're going to put this all together and make a fabulous side dish out of these beautiful potatoes. So let's get started. First things first, I'm going to mince up, or I have minced up, um, about four cloves of garlic. And I'm going to take this and I'm going to stick it in a container that I'm going to pour the heavy cream in. And I want that heavy cream to start getting that garlicky flavor so that it can infuse our potatoes. The next thing we're going to do is I got some fresh thyme from, the, from out in the garden. And the way you peel this or get the thyme off is you go against the grain and you pull down and see how all the little leaves come right off? That's what you're looking for. You get the little leaves, not the stems. So you just pull straight down and all the little, little leaves come off. It's beautiful. Thyme has a, like a little lemony flavor to it. It's very floral, very nice. It goes well in all these kind of dishes. It smells wonderful. And potatoes love it. Okay, so we've pretty much peeled all the little thyme leaves off of here. If you want, it is not ne totally necessary. You can run the knife through them once just to open them up a little bit. Just like that. And then we're going to stick that in the, that vessel also. And then we're going to fill that with about, I've got a little over a half a quart of heavy cream. So we're going to pour that right in there. And just let that mix around in there so it gets all of the garlic and all of that thyme. I'm going to throw a uh, pinch of salt. Just like that. And some fresh cracked black pepper. Beautiful. Now we're going to get to slicing our potatoes. Take whatever potatoes you have. And we're looking for a nice even slice. If you have a mandolin, that would be fine. Here, let me show you. Bring this around. That's about the size of thickness, about an eighth of an inch, that we're looking for, for these potatoes to be. I'm gonna go through and cut up all these potatoes, and when I'm done, if you have a mandolin, if I have a mandolin, I would do these on the mandolin, it would make nice even slices. They come out perfect. If not, use a knife. I'm gonna cut these all up and, okay, all of our potatoes have been sliced nice and thin. Uh, they're soaking in that milk, garlic, salt, pepper, and uh, thyme uh, bath over here. And now we're gonna get started on the cabbage. First off, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take um, some bacon. And I got about one, two, three, four, five, six, about six slices here. And I'm just going to cube it up into little cubes. And I've got a nice hot pan going back there. Just cut the sliced bacon into like half inch cubes. Just like that. 
and we're going to throw that in the pan and let it start doing its thing, its baking thing. Break up the pieces. Just take your cabbage, cut a V where the, um, the root end is, cut that out. You can slice it in half at this point, and then just shred it. Nice little shred. Just like that. I'm going to shred up the rest of this cabbage. And as soon as our bacon's a little brown and we've got all this cabbage cut up, we'll be right back. Our bacon's getting nice and crispy. Look how beautiful it's uh, rendering out all. It's fat and that's what we're going to use. Okay, all of our bacon has rendered its beautiful fat out. So we're going to take the bacon out and set that aside. Don't burn the bacon either. Don't put it up way high. Put it nice and low. Cook it nice and slow so it renders all the fat out, gets nice and crispy. Because nothing's worse than burnt bacon. Well, well, maybe burnt popcorn. But burnt bacon is also pretty bad. Just don't burn it. Now we got that lovely bacon fat in there. I'm going to set that aside. And we're going to stick our cabbage in there so that it can cook. Now, this may look like a lot of cabbage, but it's going to wilt down to almost nothing. So we're going to stick our cabbage in there, just like this. I still have this whole mound of cabbage. I'm going to get this mound of cabbage into that pan and we'll be right back. Our beautiful cabbage, we want to fry it down so it gets some beautiful caramelization going on it. And as soon as that's done, we will be back and assemble our gratin. See, that's where we're going. That's what we're looking for. We're looking for beautifully fried cabbage. We want those little brown bits. See those nice little caramelized sections of cabbage? That cabbage gets so sweet when you do that to it. So that's what we're looking for. As soon as it's all finished, we're going to throw the bacon back in it, and then we're going to assemble the gratin. There's our beautiful caramelized cabbage or fried cabbage with the bacon added back in it and that's going to go in the middle of our gratin. Okay, our cabbage is done. It's off the heat. We've got a nice baking tray here and this is where we're going to start assembling our gratin. I got you in low here so you can see. Take a potato and lay it on the bottom. Lay the next one over the top of it and so on and so forth and so on, so that you make a complete sealed bottom. You want them all overlapping, just like this. Beautiful. Any of the little round pieces that you have left over, find a hole for them, stick them in it. I'm going to lay out one layer all across the bottom, just like this. Let me get you in so you can see what that's looking like. See, one on top of the other. So there's, you can't see the glass anymore. Alright, I'm going to lay out this first layer. And as soon as I'm done, we'll be back and I'll show you what the next step is. So, we'll be right back. Okay, there's our first layer. It takes up the whole bottom. And 
<clears throat> the next thing I'm going to do is going to add a little bit of Parmesan cheese. This is uh, grated Parmesan cheese. Actually, it's a shredded Parmesan cheese. And we're just going to sprinkle that all around so it gets on each and every one of those little beautiful potatoes. I'm going to do another layer exactly like this and then we're going to get into the, the fried cabbage. So after I'm done doing that next layer, we'll be right back. There's our beautiful second layer with our cheese on it. Now we're going to get into the, uh, the cabbage and the bacon. Okay folks, so we've got this beautiful cabbage that was fried in bacon fat and the beautiful rendered bacon. And it just goes in there just like that. And then we smooth it all out so that it's in every little corner of our bread tongue. Got to share, got to share all around. Everybody's got to get an equal piece. So just like that, just smooth it out. And then I'm going to take the remaining potatoes and layer them, then put some cheese, layer them, put some cheese, until I'm done with all the potatoes. Uh, I'm going to start the next layer. And after I'm done with that, uh, we'll be right back. Okay our, <clears throat> okay, our gratin is all ready to go into the oven, just about. We're going to take that leftover cream with the garlic and the uh, thyme, and we're going to pour it over all these beautiful potatoes, just like this. Make sure we get all of that, because this is uh, like gold here. <laughs> Just like that, let's get it in there. Then we're going to cover it with aluminum foil and we're going to bake it for about 30 minutes at 375. And then for the last like 15 minutes, we're going to take the aluminum foil off and let it get crusty and bubbly and delicious. And it's going to be absolutely beautiful. So I'm going to stick this in the oven, 375, 35 minutes, and we'll be back when that's done. It's set. The pin is pulled. We'll be back 35 minutes. See you then. <clears throat> okay, our gratin has been cooking away for about 35 minutes. The buzzer just went off. We're going to take it out, take a look at it. Maybe I'll cover its dark, deep seeds. Beautiful. Oh, wow, I can smell the garlic and the thyme. Oh, my goodness, it looks beautiful. We're going to hit it with some fresh, cracked black. Just like this. And I'm going to put it back in the oven for like another 15 or 20 minutes. And let it get all bubbly and gooey and brown and lovely. So I'm going to put it back in 
375, 15, 20 minutes. Okay, our buzzer just went off for our potatoes. I'm gonna take them out of the oven. They're still bubbling and gorgeous looking. Wow, I gotta get you, take a look at that. There's our beautiful potatoes gratin. Look at that, they're still bubbling. I'm going to let it rest for about five or ten minutes and then I'm going to cut into it and serve it with my beautiful steak that I cooked. So we'll be back in a few. Look how gorgeous that looks. Okay, our, our gratin has been sitting for a little while. Our steak has been resting. I'm going to cut a little corner. Oh my goodness, as I cut into this, I'm smelling that bacon and that cabbage. I'm going to get a section here. Just pull that out. Oh my goodness, look at that. That looks absolutely beautiful. Can't miss any of those little pieces. <laughs> that piece is mine. I cut it, it's mine. Look at that. Oh my goodness. The, the sauce that it created is amazing. Look at that. All right, we're gonna move that out of the way. We're gonna have a piece. I'm gonna try this because it just looks phenomenal. It's very hot, I can see that. It's like it's steaming off there. Marona mia. That's delicious. You got that salty bacon, you have that sweet caramelized cabbage, these potatoes with the Parmesan cheese and cream, the garlic. Oh my goodness, this is delicious. Folks, you gotta try this recipe. Uh, I know you'll enjoy it. Give it a try. I hope you learned something. Come back. We'll see you soon.